night. DJ Moore looking at it. Last year, he was wide receiver 16 is where he finished. He had 87 receptions, 135 targets, uh, 1,175 yards, only four touchdowns, and a 22% target share with 12 red zone targets inside the 20. Only two red zone targets inside the 10, though. So, guys, what are our thoughts around DJ Moore? I feel like all those numbers get better. Top 10 talent, I think, based off of what is going on in Carolina, I I don't know that he quite gets there as a fantasy wide receiver. I think he's just outside of the top 10, um, uh, maybe top 12, but definitely inside that 12, 13 to 15 range. So, Kevin, you've got him top 10, uh, or just outside the top 10, but what round do you have him going in? I think DJ Moore is a solid I'm going to say third round. By the time you kind of get around to it, I can see him going middle middle to late third round, and I think most guys would be very happy with that. Alex? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's interesting because I, I initially when I, you know, hey, what are we what are we taking him in? I'm I'm in the fifth round with, with DJ Moore, and, and, you know, everything you're saying makes sense to me, but I think that there are better options out there, at least for for the value – I mean, you would. I guess you would hope that he would stick around until the fifth round. It, but I'll, he is emerging as a wide receiver one, and, and you're you're probably right, Kevin, that he's going to go probably in that third round. I, I'll say fourth round. What was the other option, Derek? Uh, what is he a top ten? Does he finish top ten receiver next year? I do not think so, and that's not a knock on DJ Moore. That's a knock on the situation they have on offense uh, in terms of sharing and what's going to happen there. Um, with, Does uh, DJ Moore finish with a better season than Juju in 2020 with Ben mm. Roethlisberger coming back? No. See, I'd be on the opposite side of that. I see him as a top 10. I think he probably finishes wide receiver 10 on the year. And I'll be honest with you, Alex, that original projection of being the fifth in the fifth round, if you're drafting with me, he's not lasting past the fourth. <laughs> I can guarantee you that. Uh, Hi, this is Alex for the Good Old Boys Fantasy Football Podcast. For more videos like this, be sure to hit like and subscribe. And find our weekly Good Old Boys Fantasy Football Podcast wherever you listen to podcasts.